By now, we've all heard that planting trees can help save the world. Trees draw down carbon, release oxygen into the atmosphere, and build the foundations of biodiverse ecosystems. This means that planting trees offers a promising climate solution on land. However, over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by the ocean, leaving a huge amount of untapped area on the planet. But how has our misadventure in climate control affected the oceans? Over 90% of the heat produced from global warming is being absorbed into the oceans every year. As the water heats up, whole species of marine life are disappearing, and much of the tropical oceans are becoming ocean deserts. Right now would be the perfect time for seaweed to come to the rescue. It's not a silver bullet, but the things these floppy little leaves can do for the planet are astonishing. Seaweed is an important component of a healthy marine ecosystem. It doesn't just sway sassily under the sea. Seaweed, seagrass, and kelp are all vital components of a functioning marine ecosystem. Seaweed acts as a natural purifier of water, removing toxic levels of nitrogen, as well as reducing levels of ocean acidification. It can also provide a valuable nursery for aquatic life such as rare seahorses, and fish we love to farm, such as Atlantic cod. One study showed a 73% increase in species numbers where seaweed was present in comparison to the surrounding sea. Its presence also helps in reducing deep-sea water trawling, a destructive fishing technique that can decimate aquatic ecosystems. Did you know seaweed also acts as a carbon sink? Seaweed's real benefit is in carbon sequestration, removing carbon from the air, or more commonly, the water, as well as absorbing and transforming carbon into organic compounds that can be consumed by ocean wildlife further down the food chain, seaweed has been found to also play a significant role in locking away carbon in the long term within the ocean shelf as a deep carbon store. They are our planet's often forgotten, incredibly important carbon sink, with habitats such as seagrass, mangrove, and salt marsh shown to be able to store twice as much carbon as their terrestrial counterparts. How cool is that? The potential of seaweed and carbon sequestration is so great that it is now a significant focus for growth and investment for blue carbon strategies. This will help building resilience of the marine environment too, as well as reducing the impact of climate change. Seaweed is also an alternative food source for animals, this is cool. Seaweed in animal feed can provide a bunch of important nutrients that support animal growth and farming. Seaweeds are some of the fastest growing organisms on the planet, with species such as giant kelp growing up to 30 centimeters per day in the ocean. Seaweeds photosynthesize, meaning they intake energy from the sun and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, releasing oxygen back into their surroundings. Like trees, seaweed forests foster beautiful and diverse ecosystems that provide habitat, food, and oxygen to thousands of species, like herring, sea otters, and sea lions. Most excitingly, it has also been found to reduce methane released by ruminants, such as cows, sheep, and goats, by over 97%. As well as being a sustainable source of food, it could also have a dramatic impact on the impact of other favorite food sources. So, seaweeds sound pretty amazing if you're an ocean animal, but how can they benefit humans? Seaweed has been consumed by humans for thousands of years, and it does add a satisfying texture and salty tang to sushi rolls and labor bread. However, there are many other foods this plant can be added to, and it is a great source of protein, iodine, magnesium, iron, and lots of other important vitamins and nutrients. Win-win, huh? One company has even managed to make burgers out of it. We at Planet Proof are certainly curious to sample them. What if I tell you that seaweed can be used as an alternative to plastic? A significant amount of the single-use plastics that we use ends up in our oceans. As people increasingly ditch these plastics, seaweed could be the solution to the world's plastic food packaging problem. Globally, we produce more than 400 million tons of plastic every year, according to the UN Environment's report on single-use plastics. Packaging thrown away after one use accounts for 36% of all plastic produced globally, making it the largest industry in plastic production. Most of this waste is produced in Asia. However, per person, it's the US, Japan, and the European Union that generate the most plastic packaging waste. The membrane and chemicals present within the seaweed have been found to be incredibly effective as alternative packaging, with the added benefit that they are biodegradable within a couple of months. The plant can be whittled down to its carbons and sugars, and then chemically shaped into building blocks. Once the bonds that hold the plant together are broken down, you get similar bio-bricks, essentially. 
Those biobricks can then be used to make an entirely new product. This is amazing, isn't it? What if we use the seed to diversify the stock of available biofuels? At the moment, the vast majority of world's renewable target is met with land-based biofuels like corn and alfalfa. But critics have argued that such biofuels are not economically and environmentally sustainable. The use of such land-based biofuels can lead to more intensive use of resources, a reduction in biodiversity, and the increase in higher GHG emissions through changes in land use. Because of these concerns, for several years now, scientists have been focusing on our ocean floors as another source to fossil fuels. With the red flag that economies of scale currently make this concept uncompetitive in comparison to other fuel sources, seaweed could play a vital role as an alternative form of energy. Large-scale farming of seaweed would deliver the benefits discussed, as well as reducing pressure on terrestrial sources of biomass and carbon-intensive fossil fuels. The exact potential of this is still to be fully explored, but the U.S. Department of Energy has estimated that its cultivation could produce energy equivalent to 23 billion gallons of petrol-slash-gas, which is great. Today, the price of a liter of seaweed-based biofuel is way too high, probably a hundred times more expensive than traditional fuels. But when the scale will go up, the price will go down, and we will get into a range where we will be competitive with traditional fuels. In summary, seaweed may be one of the most underrated, promising plants that can help provide nature-based solutions to tackling climate change and moving forwards into a climate-resilient future. The farming and restoring of seaweeds can create sustainable jobs that benefit indigenous and other coastal communities and offer a nutritious food source that can play a huge role in global food security. Seaweed can be further used to make low-carbon products such as organic fertilizers, methane-reducing animal feed, bioplastics, textiles, alternative fuel sources, and the list goes on. Seaweed farms can produce many different kinds of social, economic, and ecological benefits, but there is no free lunch in nature or in economics. Trade-offs will almost certainly arise. For example, growing seaweed in the open ocean and then sinking it into deep ocean water might maximize carbon sequestration, but reduce other benefits like food or nutraceutical production. Moreover, sinking enough seaweed to significantly affect atmospheric CO2 levels could pose risks to deep ocean ecosystems. Our challenge will be to find ways to minimize the trade-offs inherent in capturing the many benefits that seaweed can provide, while generating profits so that seaweed farming scales up. Differences in how seaweed harvesting operations are managed, where the yield goes, and where the seaweed forest or farm is located will have dramatic effects on the benefits and risks associated with that seaweed forest or farm. So, planning, analysis, and design all matter, a lot, if we want to realize the full suite of benefits that seaweed forests and farms can provide. If this sounds challenging, that's because it is preventing catastrophic climate change, and helping our planet become more resilient in the face of massive habitat degradation, climate change, and over-exploitation is hard. But we are confident we can enlist seaweeds as a powerful ally. It will require a new way of thinking and doing that regenerates natural processes rather than mines them. We have the means to do this, including the means to restore seaweed forests and expand seaweed farming in ways that deliver massive benefits for society and for the environment. But can we rise to the challenge? Do we have the will and the wisdom to do it? Well, that's it from this video. What do you think about the environmental impact of seaweed? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.